New at five, the highest court in Kansas sending a message on abortion in the state. What their decision does, it could invalidate every pro-life law we have. This ruling from the Kansas Supreme Court sends a message to women that they are full and equal citizens under the Kansas Constitution. 41 Actions reporter Stephen Dow looks at reaction to this ruling and how those who oppose it plan on fighting back. Women can get abortions here at the Planned Parenthood location in Overland Park. The Kansas Supreme Court ruled that a woman has the right to choose and now some lawmakers are working to make a public vote to amend the Constitution. I don't think so, Your Honor. I think okay. a landmark decision from the Kansas Supreme Court sending shockwaves through the pro-life community. And what their decision does, it could invalidate every pro-life law we have. Two years ago, the court heard arguments on no, Senate no, no, Bill 95, no, no. a law that would restrict abortion procedures used in the second trimester of pregnancy. Friday, the high court ruled six to one, saying the state constitution gives a woman the right to choose. Reaction was swift. Statements from U.S. senators and local lawmakers calling the decision judicial overreach and saying the court made a political statement. This ruling from the Kansas Supreme Court sends a message to women that they are full and equal citizens under the Kansas Constitution. What's unclear, how the ruling impacts abortion provisions that are already on the books. Pro-life advocates say the focus now, convincing voters to amend the Constitution. We wanna do this right. We wanna get this thing amended, and it takes two-thirds of your House, two-thirds of your Senate, doesn't take the governor's signature, which is good, and then that's just to put it on the public ballot. We spoke to Johnson County Representative Stephanie Clayton on the phone about the possible ballot question. She is pro-choice and a former Republican lawmaker who is now a Democrat. I would hope that if nothing else, in the, again, unlikely event that this amendment goes on the ballot, that it will go on the ballot during the election that has the highest turnout when the most Kansans are able to express their opinion. Again, there has to be a two-third vote in the House and Senate to even get on a public ballot. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.